Hey guys. Hey guys. My name is Melvin. And I'm Melissa. And we are Melissa. <laughs> The tulip season in the Netherlands is one of the main seasons in Netherlands where people come from all around the world to see this specifically. It usually runs from mid-March to about mid-May and this year due to warmer weather it was actually slightly earlier so it's full bloom in about mid-April to end of April with the flower parade which is one of the main highlights um, happening on the 20th of April. Visiting the Netherlands for the tulip season uh, we think can be divided into two main categories. So first, visiting the tulip farms and secondly, uh, visiting Kokenhof Garden. So starting off with the first part, the tulip fields. We actually rented bicycle for all of us in the family. Um, we fortunately got one tandem bike and then the rest of us used uh, single bikes. And this was very, very easy. Um, we actually used a company called Van Dam. This was situated right outside Coconut Garden um, in the parking lot of the garden. So it was very straightforward. We booked the tickets online and when we reached the garden, we just showed them our uh, tickets and then it was scanned and we got our bikes immediately. They even provide a map which showed the different areas which you can visit um, through bic with bicycles and also highlighted which areas were the best for visiting tulips which were in full bloom currently. We first cycled to the Tulip Bridge which was about a 10 to 15 minute bike ride. That was a very leisurely ride to the city centre and through the fields. Um, and they actually called on off the place to uh, the farm because they didn't want car access to the farm but you could cycle in, you could park your bikes there and what I really like is you can park your bikes anywhere uh, you don't necessarily need a bar because there's a very low likelihood that people are gonna pick up your bike and steal it so we parked right beside the tulip fields and we managed to get really nice shots uh, off the tulip fields itself just walking amongst them but interestingly, a lot of the tulip fields are grown for uh, export. So they don't like people running in the fields because that will bring in uh, germs and uh, other bacteria and fungi uh, from abroad, for mm. example. And also like people might damage the flowers, which of course we don't want. But there are a few specifically made with the purposes of visiting by tourists. So the few like there are a few main ones which we will put in the description below. The one that we visited, it's called the Tuperich, and entrance was completely free. Uh, this was actually owned um, by a family. So it's a very, it's not as commercialized, it's family owned. Um, it has a small little cafe in it, um, which serves like sandwiches. Um, we got some handmade like toasties. <laughs> toasties. And also like some baked goods, which were baked by the grandmother. And while we were there, we actually met um, the owner herself. Um, so it's very, it's very cozy, um, like great vibes. And it was just really like, you just feel like you're in your grandmother's house with a lot of like decor on the side, decor with windmills, tulips, you can buy souvenirs. And outside, um, there's actually a little sitting area as well. Um, and then there are areas where you can take photos um, of the tulip fields. And then there is a specific plot where you can actually pick your own tulips. <laughs> nice. Mm. And you can pick the tulips it was, how much was it? It was uh, 10 tulips for 6 euros. Yeah, and it even comes with a bucket that you can take home with. And each additional tulip is just an extra 50 pence, 50 cents, sorry. So it's quite, it's quite a fun experience. Um, and it wasn't as crowded as like many of the other more commercialized ones. So we really enjoyed it. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Ja, we gaan in heel 
guy. <laughs> bob it, bob it. Twist it. Turn. Oh no. Oh. I didn't get the ball. Okay. Yeah, it's quite hard to get the ball. Yeah. Okay. What did you enjoy most about visiting the tulip fields? I think I really liked the fact that we were able to walk among the fields and the fields were, even though there were loads of people there, the fields were largely undamaged. Um, and especially just looking across the fields that you couldn't enter, they arranged all the tulips by colour. So you can see mm. it as a gradient of colour and it looks very beautiful. Yeah, and I was so surprised because um, you know how like people always put like hashtag no filter? Like the flowers, the, the colours of the flowers were so vibrant. Even as we were cycling on the way, we could see fields of tulips on either side of the road and it was so vibrant, like the oranges and the reds and the yellows, it was just magnificent. And it was just so, I don't know, like the colours just makes you feel so joyful, like in itself. Yeah. Yeah. You look like you're looking at the watercolour. Yeah, it was really nice. And even after um, visiting the tulip fields, uh, we just cycle around the area to get back and we pass fields along the way. Um, there was this one particular point um, where we actually stopped because there was a field of purple flowers. It was just gorgeous. Thanks for watching! Um, remember to like and subscribe for more adventures. See you next time. Bye. Bye.